So welcome back to another episode of FIFA History. Today we are playing one of my favorite FIFA games ever, FIFA 15. And uh, this game, like I said, one of my favorites. There's nothing really bad to say about it. I had so much fun with this game. And it was a game that was made in 2014. And the reviews were very favorable. 8.3 out of 10 from IGN, 8 out of 10 from GameSpot, and 78% from PC Gamer. This was part of the peak FIFA group, I would say, like FIFA 13, 14, 15, and that. Part of the peak FIFA group. And I'm excited to come back today to see what it's like in 2023. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like for me. It always helps. And make sure you subscribe for more FIFA history and FIFA 24 videos. Servers have been shut for a while now for FIFA 15, which means you can't play online anymore. But taking a look at the menus here, you can see things are a little bit zoomed in. I don't know why, but when you play FIFA 15 on my PS5, for some reason it zooms in. So it's sort of like a bug that never fixed itself after like three years. But it still is playable today, even with the zoomed in menus. We've got kickoff stuff there, the catalog which doesn't work, career mode tile there, and uh, there's ultimate team there, tournament mode, skill games, and the practice arena. Online stuff there, seasons pro clubs, that doesn't work anymore. Match day live, which was a feature at the time, but... It doesn't work anymore because you need to be online. And then customized section is pretty much your standard stuff. Let's take a look at the soundtrack. I remember this being one of the best soundtracks ever. There were so many bangers in this one. There was uh, the Madden Brothers We Are Done. That was pretty good. There was this song as well, LAF. But my favorite one was Quab's Walk. This song was peak FIFA 15, man. When this came on after a crew mode win, you knew you were going to have a good time. You didn't even want to go and play the match when this song came on in the menus, man. Of course, we had Avicii, The Knights as well, When the Day Comes by Nico and Vins. The soundtracks have not hit the same for me since FIFA 16. So FIFA 15 borrows the same practice arena as FIFA 14, but it does remove all the good stuff. You can see it only has select sides and exit. FIFA 14 had the create set piece, practice matches and practice set pieces. EA got rid of all that for some reason, so there's nothing to do there. But it's still a nice setting, I guess. And uh, just taking a look at the gameplay while I move messy around here. Very responsive. This is the old Ignite engine, I believe. So, very good. A lot of people like this gameplay as well from this era. And uh, yeah, we need to go now because there's nothing to do here. Let's take a look at the career mode menus. I don't remember FIFA 15 career mode adding too many major features. But you had your standard stuff. The global transfer network. The news section as well. And you also had your tables on the right, some more new stuff there, play match and sim match. If you go to the squad section, I think the only new feature that was a major feature was the team sheet. So you could create more than one team sheet now. I think they introduced that in FIFA 15. You had your old legacy features as well, like injury list, where you could check the injuries of all the other teams in the competition as well. And then you could also do your kit numbers from there. There was also the squad ranking feature, which is another legacy feature. It's something I actually like. It ranks your players from best to worst. So you can see the worst one is Rothwell, and the best one is Rooney. Sometimes it was a little bit dodgy, but for the most part, it did the job. Then you had your transfer section. There was no cutscenes or anything like that back then. And then you had your request funds feature, which is another legacy feature that a lot of people enjoy as well. If you needed that extra cash, you knew where to go. Who remembers how you had to do your budget splits? I haven't done this in a long time, but I remember doing that. You had to alter the money sometimes. This was the good old press conferences. Look how bad this was. You could comment on Liverpool, Manchester United, Brendan Rodgers, or your players. So let's uh, unnerve Liverpool before today's game. Who remembers the old squad report? So before we had the squad hub, this was your squad report where you could check all the growth of your players and the season stats as well. Remember the inquire feature where you could inquire about a player's price if you didn't know their value, if you didn't scout them enough. Brings back the memories, I tell you, man. It brings back the memories. Around two years ago in 2021, I did a Manchester United career mode in FIFA 15 on my second channel. The videos are still there. And today we're coming back with this team once again. And uh, look at the team we had there. I'm going to bring Rojo in very quickly. So you can see the starting lineup. We had Wilson. This guy plays like a 95 overall striker. Not even joking. Neymar on the left, Rooney Dimaria on the right, Blind and Fellaini, Luke Shaw, Varane, Rojo and Rafael and De Gea at the back. I mean, it was pretty standard to have Varane in every career mode team back in FIFA 15. On the bench, we had Dybala, Juan Mata, Carrick as well, Valencia, Young, Janazai and also Smaldini. Victor Valdez was there, Herrera as well. So we're at Old Trafford today, Liverpool versus Manchester United. And this was the first year they brought in the Premier League broadcast package as well. So FIFA 15 introduced this whole package that you see as we play the game. And we're leading the way at the moment. 21 points after 7 games. Doesn't really matter much because it's not a career mode series at the moment today. But you can see the grass colour looks fantastic. Like the graphics in some areas still hold up today. I mean player faces are not going to hold up that well. But uh, in terms of gameplay and grass colour and all that, you know, it looks alright. It's still a fun game. 
We are on legendary difficulty today, by the way, so things could be a little bit hard. And it's been a while since I played FIFA 15. But we'll see how we go today. So Rooney lays it off to Blind. Our midfield's not the quickest, but we do have Neymar. We're just going to hold it up with Wilson. And Blind chips it over. That's a handball ref. It's such a fun game on this old engine as well. It just never gets old. I think in 30 years' time, you could play this game and still have fun. Here's Fellaini. He's going to have a hit from distance, and he's going to draw the corner maybe. Got Blind charging forward. Looking for some support. Neymar's making the run. We're going to go over the top. Let's see what Neymar can do here. He's going to hold it up. Plays it back to Luke Shaw. He's going to lay it off to Fellaini on the edge of the box. And it's another corner. We've got to stop the cross. Stop the cross. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. We literally had a player in line with the ball. And the ball went straight past him. Look at this. We had two players there. I don't know who it was. I think it was Rojo. The ball went under his feet. Typical EA scripting right there. Could even concede once again here. Sturridge. Plays it up. And that's a good cross. Oh my goodness, wow. Could have been 2-0. And that's a nice ball to Markovic who has a hit. Not going to beat De Gea like that. Ball over the top. Sturridge made the good run. And Rojo's coming to help. And there's three players there. And Sturridge, oh my goodness, he almost scores. Wilson cuts it out. Wow, go, son. Go yourself. Use your turbo boost. It could actually work here for Wilson. Have a hit. James Wilson. Oh, my goodness. How? What a terrible effort. 71 overall there. Fellaini. Oh, my goodness. Let's lay it off here. Wilson. Looking for Rooney. Good ball. Rooney with the finish. There you go. There's the goal. We worked it well. We had to be patient, man. Wilson with the assist and Rooney with the finish. If he missed from there... It did go through the legs, though, so we've got a bit lucky. Through the legs, but I'll take it. Let me know if you have any FIFA 15 memories. For me, it's very fun to play this game. I can still come back and do a whole career mode. That's how much I love this game. And uh, graphics, in terms of grass and all that, very nice. But in terms of the crowd and player faces and stuff, it's starting to show its age a bit. But gameplay is still very fun. Like, if you don't care about that stuff, gameplay is still very fun. One more attack, maybe, for United. All-out attack. Let's use that feature. Di Maria. He's going to have a hit from distance. Di Maria. Oh, my goodness. What a way to win it. Wow. The long shots are amazing in this game. In the 93rd minute as well. Man, I love this game. It just sums up FIFA 15 right there. Get the ball. Charge towards goal. And hit it. Look at that. Caught the keeper off guard. Oh, man. This is why I love FIFA 15. Look at that camera angle right there. Perfect finish. Right in the corner. No one is getting to that. All right. Now we go to all-out defense. Park the bus. Remember that feature as well. But I hope you did enjoy this FIFA 15 video as the ref blows for full time. It was so fun to come back in 2023. I'll see you next year, FIFA 15, for the next visit.